In this session, we are going to learn how to use GE McKinsey Matrix for international marketing. To assess the different country markets regarding two dimensions. Right, so this is the engineer's site and uh, you need to log in. This is my uh, login information, so login. And you can go to dashboard and select. Right, so from this uh, uh, basic interface, you can go to template and choose G McKinsey matrix. And you can see this pop-up screen, right? So uh, include uh, rating weights. You can have multiple sets of weights, but to make it simple, choose one set of weights. You may choose multiple sets of weights to include multiple perspectives uh, regarding the uh, issue on hand, right? And uh, include dynamic rating, skip this because it's very hard to gain uh, information about dynamic ratings of international markets. And include bubble sizes. Yes, we want to see the different sizes of the bubbles. And the bubbles here are the country markets, right? And we, will, we may have a, a matrix and multiple bubbles. And include market share uh, because it is about the uh, uh, country markets market shares do not uh, are not relevant here right and number of options so bubbles let's have four uh, different country markets and the horizon to access number of rating dimensions well I hope uh, you can have more than three but here to make it simple let me have two and vertical axis also too, right? So this is it, and you can click run. So this is the uh, templates, and the templates uh, have the uh, uh, random numbers here. So you you, you will uh, change all the numbers here. Uh, so first, uh, horizontal axis, uh, maybe in evaluating uh, different country market, you may have two dimensions, okay? Uh, regarding the current uh, topic we have, uh, the first horizontal uh, dimension would be overall market condition of each country, right? Overall, not about specific industry, but overall market condition. So of the horizontal uh, dimension we can find two sub dimension or sub factors so two indicators or measures will explain overall market conditions the horizontal dimension right so the horizontal maybe gdp is one candidate it's good indicator uh, to measure the overall market condition right and also uh, what about the uh, 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 growth rate of the economy, right? So the, I have two uh, indicators for overall market conditions, which is horizontal dimension, right? And you should have more, more than three, right? And option no, options here, uh, options are uh, country markets, right? So country A, country B, country C, country D. And you will have evaluation, right? Gotten from uh, databases such as Passport database, right? And others, right? And maybe let me change some. Right? So you will change the random uh, numbers with the uh, accurate numbers from your uh, references, right? Databases. And the weights because the two sub-factors are different in terms of its 
the importance, right? So I think the GDP is more important, five, and then growth rate, four. Okay, so we put different weights to the sub-vectors. And uh, the second dimension, which is vertical dimension, right? Uh, we have, uh, in our case, we have uh, tea industry, right? So the conditions of the tea industry in the market, country market. Uh, so the first will be tea consumption. You can find it from passport database. And the second is um, um, uh, what about soft drink market? Right? Soft drink markets. Because in uh, for the tea franchises, you have uh, you know soft drink like uh, offerings such as uh, bubble tea and uh, milk tea and other things, right? So uh, soft drink industry is quite relevant here, right? And also country should be the same thing, A, B, C, and D. So you will change the random numbers here with the actual number. Let me change it. Uh, normally, uh, you know, you can use a scale from one to five. And uh, if you have different uh, scales, you can, you can transform the scales into the scale, right? It's up to you though. And uh, vertical weights, also the two things, the sub-vectors are quite different in terms of their importance, right? So I'll bring, so which is more important, maybe I think that the tea consumption is more important, and then soft drink, right? All right, then bubble sizes, and the the uh, four country market has different sizes. You know, size matters here, right? The uh, the size of the economies, right? So, bubble sizes. Normally, I use uh, uh, one to ten, right? Eight, four, two, three, eight. It's, it's, it's quite good. So I will I will maintain the numbers here, right? All right. So I uh, just simply completed all the tables here, and you can run it, right? You can run G uh, McKinsey matrix. And you can see the exactly same uh, pop-up screen here. And I don't think that I need to change anything here. Right? Just run it. And you know, uh, please notice that uh, as far as I know, using special character in the tables, right, will not work. So uh, please do not use any uh, special character, right, uh, in the table. Just use letters, right, letters. And also the uh, in the uh, uh, table, the numbers, only numbers, no letter, no a special character in the in the uh, columns, uh, rows and columns of the table, right? Not the uh, the names, but the actual numbers, right? Show report. So McKinsey G McKinsey matrix, and this is the result table. Oh, uh, G uh, McKinsey matrix is powerful because it's uh, the output is a simple display like this, but it can explain a lot of different things, right? So there are four, uh, two dimensions here. Uh, this horizontal dimension is overall market condition and vertical is T industry. So in terms of T industry, A is more attractive, right? Better. And in terms of uh, overall market condition, A is more attractive, right? So it's, it's in terms of strategy, right? Making strategy, it's uh, decision is, uh, should be, should rely on the, uh, the internal capabilities and other things, right? And from this uh, outside information, right? Of the market, right? Uh, if you have, uh, you know, strength in the T product, right? 
and you want to focus on the quality of the T, maybe A, B is the good market, right? Because they have good tea industry and soft drink industry, right? But if you uh, want to focus more on the uh, current market uh, economic situation, right? And uh, maybe potential of the market, right? Maybe A can be attractive. But uh, you can have a, a BD occur position like targeting C and D first because it's uh, middle, right? It's in terms of, uh, you know, uh, market condition. C is poor, but the uh, size is big. So it's much more potential. And in terms of uh, T industry, it is, it is good, right? So you can, you can have multiple strategic options. And you can uh, say uh, multiple, uh, you know, strategic stories out of this one simple uh, graphical display, right? Uh, so this is it. So uh, now you can, uh, you are able to uh, conduct GE McKinsey matrix uh, in the context of international marketing, right? Considering multiple market countries, country markets, right? So the portfolio here is multiple country markets. And we have two dimensions, right? Uh, explaining the portfolio, right? Country markets. The one is, one dimension is overall market condition. And the other dimension was uh, tea industry, right? But you can change them. Anyway, thank you very much.